Fetsi, the true legend, the Kaiser Chiefs. Shane McGregor. When he joined Kaiser Chiefs, we knew exactly what to expect from him, and he fitted like a glove. He was the best, the best of the best. Welcome to Eta Disky on SABC One. Igamalamgu part Komafani. This is where we tell the story of the legends by legend on the legendary channel of the SABC, SABC One, the number one in football broadcasting in South Africa. We continue with looking at those golden years of the legends when South African black football players, though many of them didn't make millions from football, but guess what? They did the most important thing. They wrote their names on the hearts of millions of South Africans. We are at Ellis Park Stadium and it was on this ground that Chipa Fetsi Mulatedi did his things. Then in the 80s, he was playing for Moraga Swallows and his transfer deal from, Kaiser, from Moraga Swallows to Kaiser Chiefs was a groundbreaking one. It made headlines in South Africa. He was the most expensive player. We're gonna get to hear about that particular story of a man who played in his perm. He made us also to perm. I also have very, very good memories of this stadium. Ellis Park Stadium. Let's get to watch the story of Chipa Mlatedi. Kulumang, a best legend player. Engaraboni, good generation, Ekona Manch. Engaraboni. Chipa Mladedi was a very good player, a traveling wizard. What my bambi Paula Uso is from Sinyaga, so today Paula Ivanjo Umund. Yeah, mas kuluma ngoto chipa, sna kuluma ndeini ngoto chipa, ngoto chipa specially as na ma golo asha ya, abama golam nandi ane no mas amba after games kuluma ngao every day. Chipa Mladedi. Uyangane. About your few JC number ten. Over here, I receive a ball. But when as the middle field as the Chimusha, Baba Shaba, Umumaka, as the defender, and over here, Kora as the crucial goal. Man, since we wanna look thin, as we are selling now, we excuse. We just got some. We have maximum ponyan. We have moving balls. We have Ivan. We have maximum ponyan. We have Ayala. We have got eighteen area. We have got the long hand. We have maximum ponyan. Yeah, no one go goal score. He was the middle field. Lea supply. Our dribble. Our. Eh, manja si sena wala ba pano ba pano na bo na bo fiti mladi. Eh, ngoku tiaba sa kono dribu la nden dribu la mutoe wani ibola liya lasek. Kumbuli dribu linya. It was the best. Sometimes we tiaba pass against the house pass ay. Uvela na. Ah, al it accept the lepo le bot. Oba chinta katese zia chuko trampa na ezi zambara mutu. Et <laughs> He was the best, the best of the best. Yeah, first, Chipa Mlati. Fetsi, the true legend, the Kaiser Chiefs. Football club. Many people around the world know about the Soweto uprisings in 1976 when many teenagers were gunned down by the apartheid regime. But what many don't know is that the incident happened just a few streets from where Fetsi lived at the time. As a teenager growing up in this chaos, 
He then found comfort in nothing but football. And that is where his legendary football story began. Then Keshaita ko Piri, family arona, na really eight. Kena le bo ausi by five and three boys. Na ko san san rohola na, na rona le di team ko ko kasi. Like every community ko so to them. Soka inele the only sport senelor siya sami ko ganakuyo. So is that the passion aga is that the ganakuyo until ke kilo chena professional. We've played our football go first 11. I, I know he played Kesa Chiefs, I know he played Morogasol, whatever the team said, but we played football go first 11. It's the mastermind, not the Mita mastermind. And calling him mastermind, they say, Horiki, Ribita fail. Because we'd master everything I'm fielding. The, the entire squad. From go number, number one until go, go number 11, this man would control. He would, he would control. It did not take long before Fetsi turned professional, and his nickname followed him right through from day one. I was a little bit of a little bit because I was a little bit of a little bit of a little So, I was a little bit of a The time I was for the trial school, so I was a So, I was a little bit of a little bit so after first training at Kakoswalos, everybody can pizza cheaper, cheaper, well done, cheaper, well done, cheaper. When, when people gave you nicknames in those days when they were playing soccer, the nickname said something about your football. We used to call him telephone exchange. I don't know in those days, he didn't have cell phones. <laughs> so if a telephone was exchanged in a, at a certain point, so we said he was exchanging all the all the moves of the team so we could uh, compare it with changing telephone extensions in swallows colors he excelled and the south african soccer scene took notice he was part of the Swallows team that won the Mainstay Cup in the early 80s, and with that triumph became problems that instigated his move to Kaiser Chiefs. After Capri and Mainstay Cup, I expected the bonus. So, unfortunately, management doesn't refer to the bonus team. So, I was unhappy because in early December time, and then off-season, we expect the bonus to how then tolerant. Because some of the players are not going to be able to do the management. So, the time is decided. We have to move somewhere. And uh, before even Kaiser Chiefs in approach for the And then, in a period, it's difficult for me because we have to go to the one who is going to go to the house around 10 o'clock. Somebody After two weeks, that time, Mr. Kaiser, on a started the negotiations the swallows for Rocket Lodge Chiefs. So, Leana about all that very same information or no. But Pilowaka was safe. So, about this side or no, Otanka Alompia got there. So, I think it was close to three to four weeks. Kilo got there. After Orba negotiated price for Naden, Kian Fonela, then I had to fly back to Jobek. In fact, uh, Fetty, when he came to Kaza Chiefs, that's when uh, he was uh, a menace in the middle field uh, for Swallows. And uh, when he joined Kaza Chiefs, we knew exactly what to expect from him. And he fitted like a glove because uh, he was the kind of player 
that uh, was meant for Kaiser Chiefs. You know, non-ruthless team, a football playing team, knocking the ball around and uh, having players who can caress that ball. I mean, the likes of uh, uh, Triple K, Tim Kulu, and uh, also uh, you think of Teenage Lala. And then suddenly Fetsi comes in, he fits in so well. And it was just one of those that you thought, wow, I'm looking forward to Fetsi in the middle. And he just came in there and I will never forget those moments where he was just hopping, not running, he wasn't a sprinter. He would just be hopping in that midfield and just conducting the ball left, right, then very occasionally back, but he will play, spray those passes. And those were obviously the delightful passes that will fall on to the strikers. Welcome back to a Tadiski on SABC One. By the way, you can tell us how you're feeling about the show by writing to us on the social media platforms you're seeing on your screen right now. Eba fetu, eza sepiri mapetla zolamdeni, anshama filaiti na poniti chovicho, mwabang peti legend yenu, ufeti mulateri. Mulateri was a guy who never raised his hand and get a complaint that he never played. I never saw him getting a red card. I never saw him getting injury. It was a minus. He always to play as a soldier. Fetsi became a force to be reckoned with at Amakosi. He was the midfielder with an eye of creating goals, helping Chiefs to collect at least one trophy every season. First season I got Chiefs. I think Lawina the cup is a fair. Five Cups, League Cup, Mainstay, uh, JPS, Le BP Top 8, Le Sales House. The interesting part of uh, those days was, uh, you can imagine his Fetsi and the Trevor and Tim Kulu in the middle of the park. Teenage Lazlak on the wing of, the, uh, of that team and that is in part of the midfield. And those were the days when we were playing the 4-4-3 formation in most cases because we had so many deadly players that you cannot even afford to keep an extra striker on the bench. And Fetsi, Dr. Kumalo, Trevam, Tim Kulu and yours truly, we would always fight for a mirror, especially when we're not playing at, uh, at Ellis Park or F&B because uh, Ellis Park, we know it's a bigger dressing room, it's got a mirror because those were the days of the pair. So we just hoi that uh, oil and then make sure that it just bounces, you know. And Fetsi would just be getting his bouncing, you know, the way he was running. It, it was making the bounce of the Pam looking so good. So you even want to run like him just for your Pam to bounce. You know? Perhaps his most notable game was the Mainstay Cup semi-final when Kaiser Chiefs played African Wanderers at Ellis Park Stadium. On that day, Fethi's grandmother was unfortunately laid to rest. It, it was in a four, four years now, it was, in fact, for the whole family. It was so sad because little just like we knew that he had to go to Lala, Nabalala Ellis Park Stadium. Uh, but there was a couple of coaches, you know, can he attend the funeral, then he will come after the period. Fortunately, then, <clears throat> when he goes back, he came on as a substitute and he did well and then he even scored two goals uh, to show that uh, my grandmother umufile the blessings. That was the, the, the highlight, you know, knowing Fezi, where he could change things. Yeah, that's the energy. In 1995, Chipper would end his career with Kaza Chiefs and joined new kids on the block, seven stars in Cape Town. Rob Mone, owner. Una Katorika State has a second division from PE. So Larry Vita and Nali Trevor or Retle Ritom Tusa won our builder team. And then Kopula like during the day, they're really busy remover around the area called Cape Town. Re recruiter players, and then that's how our La Honotola Benny McCarthy. Benny McCarthy, in a special talent, 
even at that level, yeah, a match. No one or no, he's a good player. And then on the future, a whole lot of football. McCarthy goes for goal! That will be the championship winning goal! With all his exploits and what he has done in the football scene, Chipper's name will always be remembered. But there is a man behind the name. Off the pitch, Fetsi is a man that is like any other. But his family and friends know him better. Fetsi is shooting number one fan. The Mpol Shela Makox. I'm a crown in the first level. I'm a stadium in Hambenai. There was a time lap on Hambenai, and I said, one tartan and motorcycle blends. Because I'm having an advantage, I'm going to be a tartan, I'm going to be a pastel, I'm So Hambenai, I said, Liblens, a stadium. About the island, African Wanderers. I remember very well, vividly. And then, but must figure up then, but I'm going to go to the Then there was chaos, then, in the Galapo. They got very calm guy, they got a lot of calm guy. We didn't imagine no one to a coolman, I'm going to be a con. Among a coolman, I was on Bona, Jomuto, no more pants, got cool. Imagine me having a rough car cool, meaning Hamburg, and I don't care to live. It really bothered us. I mean, to an extent that uh, sometimes we would even see a beautiful lady and say, Fetty, that's a nice lady there. Should I talk to her for you? <laughs> or on your behalf? Maybe. <laughs> Can I say something? Before the Lala, there came or the I was saying, before to Zala, that morning, so Gabi, I so Gaba, I give so Gab. Now we had to play the game, replacing the team in Vene. And one minute with the one more ground in, the next minute, Grulo Sha 69. You call it 69. Grulo Sha 69. And, but we finished the game, and you know, most of the time, we are so fortunate to re, 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 release such a team. I still say, it was not my mistake you called the face Aikra Alego Eli the V name called the Chiefs. He made Ellis Park or by Ellis Park. People banner by go stadium. I'm thinking mainly because there was Fezimo Coco Field. He was just a maestro on the board, but a very, very quiet person. In fact, outside football, Fezi was just amazing. Yeah, right arm for King, the then captain of Kaiser Chiefs gave him a nickname, he called him My Tulel. <laughs> yeah. He was very quiet. Fetsi would not even harm a fly, and he would be quiet as if uh, he's not there. But uh, give him that platform, he will be in charge, you know, quietly dictating. And I'm sure if you ask any opponent what uh, Fetsi had to say to you that is untowards, they will tell you, no, he never said a word to me. Very, very quiet and a very talented player. Welcome back to Eita Diski, Eita Chipa, Eita Legend. When we talk about legends on SABC One, we talk about those people who, after their success, develop youngsters to become better than what they were. And after close to 20 years of professional football, this is what Chipa Mulatedi is doing now. and my best player is Simpua Chabalala because it's a good player. It's a good player. It's a good player. My favorite player is Iniesta because he inspires me. The way he's playing, the position he's playing, he's learning more for me, such as my father used to play for that position. These are the dreams of young kids from Soweto, whose hopes of fruition rests on the shoulders of this man, who has taken it upon himself 
to help kids from his township become stars of tomorrow. Academy Ek is Tatile Kachenwar and motivation in Lorento. A lot of parents ba complain about na babon around this area. But uh, some of them are attending the school locally. So besides that, a lot of them are the talent. So next time I have talent, I will be wasted. You understand? Because now, compared to the time San San Rizal, I will be able to A player, as long as I'm talented, you can even go and play overseas. So motivation is to keep the kids away from the streets, from the drugs, and at the same time, by using talent they are What started as just an activity to take away the kids from the streets and put them on the straight and narrow path has now become the vehicle that carries these kids' dreams of becoming a somebody in the future. I was born in the cousin of the Shabalala. Yeah, that's our granny's house. So, I was a coach back then in the days. And uh, they were using just a small potion in Jefele just to work out. So, it will be a nice thing to get more I can get more Alenko things. So, I was a kid, 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 I was a kid. So for us having him back Kokasi, it really means a, a lot Corona because of um you you come across Momokasi Takatarona, boys our age they're smoking their own drugs because of they don't have uh, what they're doing like during the days. It is not always easy to look after a group of so many kids especially when you don't have a financial support that gives the project a backbone. Challenge is sitting out there because right now, everything is working from, from my own pocket. So I wish somebody can come up with a sponsor, especially with the Dipolo. Dipolo, they also on around 10, but because more around the park, sometimes on a festival, but to buy another than the festival. So Tola Ripolo Tsangata dia senye. So I wish Orenka Tola Dipolo, even Jesse, your Batali, because the next step of Orenka to keep on go local football association, so that Batokono compete every weekend. Challenges or no challenges, these kids are forever grateful for a legend like Feizi who's plowing back to his community, creating the Chippas of tomorrow. I get a lot of people who are coaching the opportunity to feel like they are going to be able to express their express their talent. They are going to discover their discover their natural reality. I also thank uh, my coach, Chippa Mlade, because I'm going to be able 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 to be can or good decision discipline or even or what kind of football that may be reasonable and one day when I grow up, but that's one day. Well, that's all we have for you on a Tadiski today. Keep pumping those messages because we're going to bring you more legends. Keep pumping messages on Insta, on Facebook, and on Twitter. My name is Tweetish. My name is Tumela. He tweets Kanjalunje. Chipam Latendi, my hero, my legend. Uyingwenya Yamwena. I salute. And as I salute, I think about how electrifying it was in this stadium. We used to wave at crowds here waving at crowds and as a jive of food. The legendary PROs right here at Ellis Park Stadium.